Hi guys, um, it's me Chris, and I'm just, I'm just here on day 7 of a 40 day water fast, you know, trying to stay motivated, I'm really just doing this video because, you know, I feel like I should be sharing this with people, you know, just in case, like, somebody else, you know, is going on a fast. I mean, there are plenty of videos on 40-day water fast, and trust me, like, I'm, I've been watching quite a few, but, you know, it's, I'm glad that I'm really doing this, you know, and, you know, during this day, I've kind of felt a mixture of, you know, not really being hungry, but like my mind telling me like, you know, eat something, you know, it's just like I have that, that habit of, or that, that mindset that like I have to always be eating somehow, you know, that it's, that, you know, like, I just remember how food tastes and how it feels in your mouth, you know, I just get and that makes me like want to eat but like what i've learned is like you know i can tell myself no you know and that's a that's part of what this fasting is about you know telling yourself no is denying yourself and really really following jesus really i i've come to the um i've come to a realization when i i was reading ephesians and like it said um the whole heavens and earth is named after Jesus Christ. And so that made me think, like, wow, you know, like, I'm named after Jesus Christ, you know. Like, like, I have the name of Jesus Christ on me, you know. And that just made me think, like, you know, like, just like Jesus Christ did in 40 days, I can do it too, you know. Anything that Jesus Christ did, I can do too. And it's really, like, boosted my faith and helped, helped me to... You know, have more faith that I can do, you know, this 40-day fast. You know, really what I'm doing every day is, like, getting up. Sometimes, like, I, I try to get up at 3. Because I'm trying to, like, set up a new habit, like, just seeking the Lord early. But sometimes, like, you know, I fall. I, usually, I do get up at 3. But sometimes, like, I go back to sleep. But I'm trying to be more consistent, especially during this fast. But usually I get up, seek the Lord, you know. I've, I've added some more things to, like, my morning routine. And I've also, like, added things in the day that I can do, you know. Like, I, I have a couple of books that I read, you know. And I go in the Bible and like read certain things during the day, you know. And I'm, and besides that, like I would go on the internet, go on YouTube, and like watch some sermons or watch some testimonies of people doing like their own forty day fast, you know. And I'm glad to say that I I noticed that most of them forty day fast. Not that this matters or anything, but like most of them were by like women, and so like I was really like searching for like. You know, a guy who actually completed a 40-day fast. And I found one today, you know. And so, like, he and he actually did it from, like, day two. And he chronicles all the days until day 40. Even, like, after when he started to refeed. And so, I'm glad for that. But all in all, this has kind of been a good day. especially And just talking, um... Just relating, like, you know, how I've been feeling during this fast is kind of, like, not only motivating me, but helping me feel better. And plus, I feel like this is what God wants me to do. So, I really, um, I really want people to know that, like, if whatever fast that you may be called to, like, don't, don't think like, um, 
that it's too hard or don't don't keep yourself from at least trying you know no matter how far you get you know don't keep yourself from trying Go, do your best you know i was reading something um in my devotional that said just just do your best you know that's all god can ask from you you know do your best keep keep pushing like god it's not it's not just you that is doing it. You know, when God calls you to a fast, it's not just you that's doing it. It's also God. It's God working with man. That's what heaven on earth is like. You know, that's what this thing is, this fast is teaching me, that it's God working with me. So, like, every time I feel discouraged, like, God will lead me to a Bible verse or to a sermon that will just encourage me. And, like, that will just give me just enough, just enough encouragement for the next time I feel discouraged, you know. And it will just keep moving me from faith to faith. And that and that that is a beautiful thing and I'm I'm learning to enjoy the Lord more and I'm learning to you know just be in his presence and he's and he's teaching me that the, the reason that I went on this fast is like he's 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 preaching to me and just telling me like this is the way that you should walk you know don't go to the left or to the right you know just and he's and he's moving on my intent and he's revealing to me like what kind of person to me this this may not be like this may not seem like it's all that, you know, in the scheme of things, like, oh, you you went on a 40-day fast just so, like, you can, like, you know, work on yourself, but but the Bible says, like, though our outward man perish, our inner man is being renewed day by day, and so I've been thinking, like, what's more important than, you know, eating or, like, just fulfilling this flesh? I'm not saying, like, that you can never eat and that eating is bad. But to eat so much to the point that that's all you think about, you know, like putting, if I lay that aside that I'm, 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 I'm positive that God is going to, you know, revive in me like better eating habits and better ways to like serve him and eat, you know, that sometimes I'll be able to, you know, like go longer periods without eating, you know, eating won't be on my mind all the time and not not only will this will this be in in terms in in eating but also in um you know other things you know like you know how i spend my time how what what i choose to um spend my time on like where the, are these like it i i'm certain or i'm praying that this will i'm praying that this will change me you know because like i've been re i've been um I've been watching videos and like one of the videos says like 40 days after 40 days of like anything like 40 days in the wilderness or 40 days um 40 like when Jesus was in the um wilderness or 40 days fasting or like when Elijah was on his mount on his way to Mount Horeb 40 days of fasting or or even the children of Israel being in the wilderness for 40 years after that 40 40 after that 40 day or 40 year period there came a change and i'm hoping that this this 40 day fast changed me because i know there's a lot of things that are in my life and like i've been praying all this year even before this fast that i would be prepared for like where god wants me to go and i need and i know i can't i can't go to the place that he wants me to go with the same mindset so i have to like and with with the same way that i've been doing things so I'm praying that this fast would change me in a way that not only changes my mindset but changes how how changes my inner man, you know, changes renews my inner man and like changes how I not only think about things but deal with people and like just live my life, you know. And so I'm just thankful for this fast today. I'm thankful that I'm on this fast. I'm thankful that I'm doing it. And I know and I know that I'll get through, you know, one day at a time. You know. I feel like I'm prepared, you know. You know, I had a I had a bowel movement this morning. Yes, I mean, yesterday I had a bowel movement. No. It was a day 5 that I had a bowel movement. This is day 7. But day five, I had a bowel movement at night, and I was going like, and it really like hurt my stomach. I was going like, what's going on, man? 
like it shouldn't be I shouldn't be having like stomach pains this early in the fast but like it was just the bowel movement you know and I passed it you know but it's been good yeah but I can't wait I can't wait to keep going through this fast and whatever the Lord is going to put in my way to like overcome and like help me to get closer to him so you guys that's all that I really wanted to say you guys stay blessed be encouraged know that know that you have the power to change your life that that power that works that that power that worked in Christ can work in you too that you don't have to be a spectator in your faith that you can you can actually like move things and change things you don't have to be stuck you know? faith without action is dead so be blessed guys in Jesus name I pray Amen